The 4-H Youth Environmental Summit provides 7th through 12th graders the chance to speak out, take action, and make a difference in their schools, communities, and personal lives. I think we should care about doing stuff for the environment because in the long run it will help us all. If you can just do something small, it really makes a big impact. I think it's good for young people to care for the environment since we're like the next generation and they should be aware. Over 220 students from 22 schools in Vermont and New Hampshire are taking part in this event. There are workshops ranging in topics from climate policy and pollinators to recycling and composting. Um, I think we can all agree that that contributes to climate change, but even beyond that, you know. A scavenger hunt is a big hit with the students. They have to find answers from over 25 exhibitors on hand. The activity allows them to interact one-on-one -on -one with professionals in environmental science and public policy. Lauren Traster is UVM Extension's 4-H team and leadership specialist. She organized this event. We know our young people are really concerned about our future, the future of the planet. They are aware of that there are real problems that need real solutions. And so they're talking about this stuff at school, they're talking about this with their families, they're talking about it with each other, and we just want to have the opportunity to bring all of our young people who this matters to together in one place with members of our environmental professional community to share ideas, to talk with each other, to connect with one each other. Um, so hopefully when they leave today, they're more informed and they have ideas of things that they can actively do to make a difference. These students aren't going to be students forever. That's a concept Traster hopes resonates now and especially in a few years. These are our future voters and they need to be informed. They need to know that you, you need to affect policy to affect change. You need to affect behavior to affect change. Sometimes it is things like policy, which may not sound as exciting to a seventh, you know, eighth, ninth grader, but these are the things that they're going to have to do in order to make a difference. The earlier we connect our young people to the real world topics, issues, problems, solutions, um, the, the more likely that they are to engage also when they're adults. And especially, again, I go back to when they're of voting age, and that's going to make a real difference if we have an environmentally literate uh, citizen population. Josh Lambert is the science teacher at Burke Town School. It's the first time he and his students are attending the 4-H Youth Environmental Summit. They're catching on to what this event is all about. By bringing these students here, I really hope that um, they will be more mindful and will be more active uh, as active future citizens and voters um, and sharing what they've learned here and um, applying it. Lambert sees raising student awareness about the environment as a lesson in developing personal responsibility. We can tell them everything and as much as we want and it's not until the students take ownership of it that they're really going to do it themselves. In the process of coming to these workshops and, and, and becoming more mindful of what we can do and starting projects that they will open up those, those lanes of communication with uh, business partners and, and other active members of the community. Zach Ekasala and Hannah Angel are eighth graders at Burke Town School. The summit has inspired them to make changes at school and in their community. Well, we were thinking doing fundraisers to raise money to get things or to help get uh, more like things that are better for the environment for our school instead of like milk cartons for example for our milk like to get a bulk milk machine or like something better. I think it's gonna help me be more educated in the choices I make and how to go about making decisions. Why is that important? Um, it's really important because we're going to be like the next generation to kind of make choices and improve the world. So I think being more educated now about it will help me later. Working on the scavenger hunt gave Giovanni Falco the opportunity to network with environmental professionals and his fellow students. I was learning about uh, different organizations in um, Vermont and New Hampshire that are um, fighting back against uh, greenhouse gases and CO2 emissions going in the atmosphere. And I also learned about um, different schools and kids and what they're doing as a smaller 
um, part of their community that is making a big effect on uh, cutting back on greenhouse gases and uh, CO2 emissions in the air. Gaining experience from these interactions is why Falco's teacher, Jody Sabatasso, brings students here year after year. I think it's a great chance for uh, the students from Allen High School to see what's going on around the state and what other schools are doing and what programs are out there for them to help uh, sustain uh, the environment. Um, I've had students in the past come up here that are now at UVM, are engineering degrees because they were talking to the uh, Rubenstein School um, and made that connection and really wanted, really wanted to go to UVM because of those connections. For Sapitasso, the 4-H Youth Environmental Summit provides students with new ways to think about what they may want to do with their futures. It's really bringing the Vermont together um, and, a, and a group of kids that are, you know, need to start making informed decisions about what they're going to do in later in life. And uh, UVM Extension does a really nice job with all their programs with the use of 4-H um, and helping kids just develop that plan what they need later in life, um, whether it be in the environment, whether it be in uh, economics, business, tourism, so on and so forth. I think it, it gets kids together to talk and think about their futures. For Leah Zamerko, the future is about awareness, engagement, and action. I feel like it's important to be involved in what's going on so that when you can vote and when you can make those decisions, you have information and background knowledge that can back you up and you know what's going on and you know how to help change and also, like, people like seeing people younger trying to get involved and, like, showing that they do know what's happening. And when they can vote, it's more impactful. The 4-H Youth Environmental Summit provides a peek into possibilities, solutions, and goals. All things these future leaders will need going forward. In Barry, I'm Keith Silva with Across the Fence.